What could be tricky about this one is that the functions are switching which one is on top and which one is on bottom. All right, so here we go. It says the region bounded by the graphs are by, by this guy and this guy are shaded and the thing above. Okay, what is the sum of the shaded regions? The, what is the sum of the areas of the shaded regions? Now I see uh, for this curve right here, that is x minus x squared plus x to the third. Whoa, something weird's happening. Delete, delete. Uh, x to the third is that one. And then the bottom one is the 4x. Okay, so it's top minus bottom. And then we're going to switch gears here. The 4x is on top right here. And then we have uh, the x minus x squared. Oh, man, my writing has to suck because I'm trying to hold my end off of the iPad. Okay, um, so let's put those in our graphing calculator really quick. So let me clear these out right here. Let's go x minus x to the second power plus x raised to the third. And then for my other one, it's 4x. Very simple. Hit my graph. Hey, it looks just like that one. My window's a little different on my graphing calculator, so it doesn't look exactly like it, but we're, we're gravy. We're gold. Okay, so what we're going to need, though, is this x value, okay, to start off my first integral. And then it's going to go to zero. And we're going to have, actually, let's name our functions here. This one is y sub 1. And this one is y sub 2. Okay, so we're going to go y sub 1 minus y sub 2 dx. And then we're going to add the other one. Remember, this one is y sub 2. I have to write everything, you know, because if I don't, I make dumb mistakes. Minus y sub 1. Then we have our dx. All right, so this one's going to be 0 to something. Oh, we need to find that point of intersection also. Luckily, we have our graphing calculator. Going to the graph, I'm going to hit second calc, which is the trace button, uh, to find my tool, uh, the intersect tool. So I press 5. My graphing calculator has me choose a left bound and a right bound. And then my job here is to try to pick a left bound and a right bound that surround the point of intersection that I'm looking for. Um, now, your calculator might not do that, uh, depending on which calculator you have. I know other Texas Instruments, what they'll do is they'll they'll say, what is the first curve? You press enter. What is the second curve? You press enter. And then you have to drag the cursor close to the point of intersection that you're looking for. And then you hit enter, and then it'll give you the point of intersection. So it looks like this is negative 1.303. Negative 1.303. And now we need the other point of intersection. So I'll hit second, trace. And oops, I don't want that. I accidentally hit eight. I want five. Okay, left bound is going to be this guy. And then right bound is going to be this guy. And it looks like it's 2.303. Oh, All right, rounded. You always round to the third decimal. Or you can just do, write whatever your calculator says. 30277. That's up to you. Or 2.30277. Two all right, so let's plug this into our calculator. Now, I did this earlier in my calculator because I accidentally recorded a video with no audio, which was very frustrating. Um, and uh, I couldn't plug it all in at once, and I should be able to. I think it's just a glitch within this, uh, this app. So um, I'm gonna do it uh, a long way, <laughs> don't mind me. So I'm gonna press uh, math and then nine, and then I'm gonna plug in negative. Make sure you press the button next to the decimal point. That's the negative. Don't use a subtraction sign. The calculator reads it as a difference button. Unless you're using um, uh, Casio. I'm pretty sure Casio has the same button, the subtraction and the negative. I'm not sure, though. I, I've worked with different Casios, and they sometimes change. So um, I already wrote it, y1 minus y2, so I don't have to worry that if I'm getting the right y's. So I hit vars, then I go to y vars and select function, and I need y1, and I'm going to minus y2 vars y vars function and then two and then i'm just going to press enter here normally i would just put the rest of it in but my app is being silly okay nine okay so now i got zero two two point three zero three and then in there i'm going to put y sub two so vars uh y vars function y sub two and then minus uh vars y vars uh function y sub one and then I'm gonna press enter on this bad boy. And then I'm gonna do something. I don't know why this works this way. I'm gonna select that one and then I'm gonna go plus and I'm gonna select this one. 
and then uh, see if it gets the answer. Yep, it gives me the answer. It adds them both together for me. And so it's uh, 6.083.